We're going to be looking at limits and try and explain why we need them. Now we've been dealing with average rates of change and average rates of change are just fine but really what we want to do because this is calculus and averages just aren't good enough we want to get to instantaneous rates of change. And so we were and so we had this thing we were calling it the average rate of change equation or the slope equation and it looked kind of like this it might have had a's or h's but in general this was our slope function to find the average rate of change or the slope between two points on a function. And what's going to happen is we, to get to the instantaneous rate of change we're going to shrink this h right down. And so here's what it looked like graphically. I want to know the average rate of change between point 0.1 and point 0.2. I know that point 0.1 has coordinates generally x and whatever the value of the function is at x is going to be my y coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over h to the right or to the left, depending on whether h is positive or negative, and then I'm going to go up until I hit the function. And so my x coordinate is going to be x plus h, and my y coordinate is going to be the value of whatever the function is at x plus h, and in this case the y coordinate is zero. Okay, so in other words, my run is h. And my rise is going to be f at x plus h minus f at x. And so I can get my slope equation, and it looks like this. And right now, I am happy, happy, happy because my slope is 8. Well, here we go. Let's try and find the instantaneous rate of change at this point right here, which is 2 and negative 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to shrink this h down. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to shrink the h down, 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 and I am happy as a clam because it looks like I'm closing in on that instantaneous rate of change. It's getting closer and closer to 2.2.3, 2.25. I think I know where it's going, and it's almost there. Oh! Suddenly, I can't calculate the slope anymore because, well, look at that. My, my run disappeared. So... So we need to have this concept of a limit to help us deal with this crazy situation where we want to do the instantaneous rate of change, but something's stopping us.